uh, tonight or uh, this afternoon. My name is Lucy Doc City. This is um, the presentation on Master of Science Science on Hospitality and Tourism Management. I leave the floor now to uh, Man to Antonello de Medici. He will tell us about the new roles and uh, international career opportunities in hospitality and management. Welcome, uh, Mr. De Medici. Please enjoy the webinar. So, uh, welcome to everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here together with Manuela, a great friend of us and friend of our company since the days of Starwood and now after the merge, now she's also uh, a great friend of Merit International. As everyone in everyone knows, I think that uh, uh, is not difficult to to focus where uh, Marriott fits into the global uh, engine of the tourism hospitality in the world. It's the first international global company in size, but also one of the most interesting companies due to the number of uh, distinctive brands in different segments, from luxury to core brand to uh, select service and, and, and entry level. Uh, service brands and this is a company that has a huge history and heritage and after the merge with Starwood we can count more than uh, 700, uh, 700 uh, uh, let's say uh, hotels in the luxury segment and in total uh, 6,700 hotels that are all over for all the brands and all the world the, the major footprint is coming from United States but now it's really expanding from Europe of course with big heritage uh, uh, and uh, Europe, Africa and the Middle East is okay. The uh, national transition from the original US uh, uh, footprint and now the uh, most dynamic brands are in Asia. Among them, St. Regis, Ritz-Carlton, uh, w Hotels, the new brand that is edition, uh, Bulgari that is a partnership with the uh, Louis Vuitton uh, group. And then the uh, major uh, brands that are the um, bread and butter from the hospitality standpoint in the company like Marriott, that is the brand name of the family that initiate the business. And is still one of the predominant, uh, uh, let's say, visionary family in this field, even if it's not a public traded company. Mr. Marriott is in great shape, he is over 80 plus years old and is a fantastic entertainer now on the spirit of anyone that wants to join the world of hospitality. Uh, we do have a, a differentiating factor based on the interest in uh, young talents because everyone wants to have talents in this world. Uh, we would like to have talents that becomes part of a family. It's a true family style, uh, but internationally top the dynamic uh, model that has these two big direction. On one hand, we want to have somebody that feels comfortable with the values of this company. So we will share distinctive value. Among them, put the people first. People are the uh, major driver of the, of the hospitality. Everyone now is talking about highly uh, in technology. Technology is a facilitating tool. It's not the reason why somebody has to come into hospitality. The real reason to come to hospitality is to feel uh, comfortable in uh, serving the guests, anticipating the guest need, and imagine what will be the next type of guest that we want to host in our hotels. The uh, interaction is also a main driver. So it's not only a conceptual job, what we are looking after. It's not only the theoretical, analytical part. Now one of the major uh, experience that is requested is the uh, statistical analysis in revenue management, for example. And more and more revenue management is expanding from the rooms that are our main contributor to the bottom line of the hotel to the food and beverage. And the analytical part of food and beverage is something that is really strategic because it's becoming an essential part, not only the uh, ancillary part of the production of the revenues, but a strategic way to identify through the customer uh, food and Epicurean experience and beverage experience, of course. I'm talking, for example, in Europe, wine is, is a critical moment of truth, but on the other end, every type of beverage, we can do tea wine pairing for uh, non-spirit uh, alcoholic countries. Everyone should understand that the holistic experience inside an hotel is the driver of the reason why somebody will come back. We recently launched something that is special. We do have a unique loyalty program that is now the merge after a long transition time of parallel between the original merit rewards, the risk and rewards, and the SPG, the Starwood Preferred Guest. The new brand name, you can find it in the web, is Bonvoy. 
that is a little bit more Brazilian. We have a lot of Brazilian uh, friends now connected. It's uh, Bon Voyage, but it's Bon Voyage. It's also a goodwill to all the travelers that are surfing our hotels across the world. And the fact that everyone can use this uh, common dot inside 29 distinctive brand in different moments of, uh, let's say, travel between corporate uh, customers, uh, private customers, uh, transient customers, uh, group customers, everyone can benefit the opportunity of experiencing the redemption and the unique benefits that the long loyalty can bring into the travel experience. This is something very special. So it's a huge marketing weapon, but it's also a great opportunity to experience the world in the, with the eyes of a company that has uh, differentiating brands, but at the same time, common patterns. In the common patterns, there is the culture that I was mentioning before. Uh, there is one thing that we normally uh, develop internally as a tool to embrace with all the employees at all level, from the chambermaids to the director of marketing. Everybody now has to have some time to dedicate to three uh, different moments and pillars. One is me, so uh, growing of myself, so learning, continuous learning, a huge platform in collaboration for, with the major international universities, for example, and also some specific template models that are developed internally in Marriott to allow someone to tailor the time of learning to the opportunity of adjusting, let's say, the uh, personal life and the business life but continues to deliver in terms of understanding what is important to know and what is, let's say, also opening our mind. Uh, the me is also a uh, well-being. I need to be uh, in, in good shape with myself. Just as an example, we are moving toward having hydration program so everyone could access to water during the day and during the work because everyone should have the pleasure of staying in something that is not a social environment or a business environment or a work environment but it's something that is more close to myself and more natural so there are so many things that you can do but think about yourself if you're in good shape then you can really do a better person for yourself for the customer and for your colleagues and then the you so collaboration teamwork uh, the passionate opportunity of learning from each other and developing something that is a little bit beyond what is the job role or job description. Now it's very difficult if you look at the web, if you find uh, the um, recruiting patterns, nobody's talking about job description in a rigid way. It's more the functional role, is the expanded matrix of project management. It's a different way sometimes to understand that there are too many links that people should follow to get to the result that is in the interest of the guest. We started when, when I was in Starwood and now in Marriott, a program that was Six Sigma. Six Sigma it was something very different from the way to analyze the processes. And the major learning was that the, uh, the point of attrition was always the uh, listening to the voice of the customer. Is the customer that should drive the processes and not the policy and procedure of a company to drive mandatory processes that are equal and standardized uh, for the let's say uh, years and years, so adapting to the voice and the brand and the brand needs is also means that the customer is giving let's say a result to the needs that are changing, and the, the changing of needs and the understanding of what is changing is paramount because the tourism is difficult to be embraced like other industries in a very let's say traditional model. Every single day we experience something different. Now we are talking about mobile check-in, for example. And in the past, we only had a, a key that was given by a concierge. So there is a radical approach why uh, uh, we, we need to understand that the processes are driven by the different expectations, but also the evolution of the priorities and the technology. Now everyone is connected and everything is connectable. Feedback is in real time. Uh, before we had questionnaires, now we have this uh, guest satisfaction survey that are uh, sent by a, uh, a, a boat, uh, a, a rotor that, that immediately capture random now who are the guests and what they can say about the stay, the post-stay and the pre-stay. But on top of that, we, do, we have the uh, explosion of social media. So we will need to have experts in social media because everything is social. When we recruit a chef now, one of the major questions that we have, show me a dish because we need to see if it's Instagrammable. So it's a completely different way. It, the taste comes second. The image comes first. Of course, we need to have great food. 
Of course, we need to have great experience. Of course, we need to have something that is memorable when you do a, uh, let's say, food test, food concept, food pairing, wine pairing. But it's important that these things are visible. It's a, a possibility to create a back-to-back -back interest and people that are not staying into a property experiencing, they create the desire of experience and they share the experience, positive and negative. So the other risk is that it changes completely the way of managing the complaints in this industry. In the past, we wrote letters not to apologize. Now, we have 24-hour response with all the digital media because we need to make sure that nothing is left alone for a long time because otherwise it becomes viral on the other end. So we need to really think in a different way and have people that understand that. Talking about the uh, drivers for the future candidates or the future opportunities, merit is also building up very large opportunities of having career days all over the world. I'm talking here from, from Italy, uh, and I was uh, confirming to Manuela De Carlo that we will do a, a career day in Italy. We will do a career day. Uh, we, we have a one huge career day in Portugal for Europe, for example. And we are going to have other career days because we create a platform of back-to-back -back experience where the young talents, they can confront their aspiring uh, desire and the availability. It's important, of course, that anybody that wants to stay in this market has a couple of pillars. One is languages, because we cannot deal with something that is not communicating all over the world. The main language in our company is English, but every single local language has a huge impact because it can make a difference. And if somebody has multiple language, even better. The uh, second one is the mobility, because in the culture of many people, they're eager to, to be hired for an experience in one company that is a fan fantastic multinational company, it's a global company, but they want to just grow behind the corner or just nearby their parents, their friends, their lovers. Unfortunately, this is a, a, a mistake, because in this world, the opportunities are coming in every single country where we open or develop or rebrand a new hotel. And it's important to know that every time we need to have very flexible people because there are, let's say, young talents, they grow, they learn, and they move. And then they consolidate, they grow into managerial position up to the top leadership position. Of course, not everyone will become a vice president, but everyone has the opportunity to try. So it's a very democratic system, but at the same time, the uh, selection is made by attitude and not only by result. Because attitude, it, it means that we can really transfer people across different locations where results can be very dependent on the local market opportunities, also uh, in terms of the luckiness of staying the right team. So the uh, conversation that I'm having with you is probably... Uh, coming to two conclusion and then I leave the word to Manuela uh, but I will be happy to answer to a couple of questions in the end of the speech uh, in, in particular two things that are to be mentioned one that is uh, there is no limit to the fantasy of creating new jobs so uh, what, what I can think about is sometimes we do have a very rigid uh, traditional and classic image of what are the, the position inside an hotel and still those arts, because those, those are not only uh, men work or, or ladies work, it's arts because you need to know very well how to do a cocktail if you want to be a bartender. But then you need to be more Instagrammable, you need to know the social media, you need to know how to build up the relationship with somebody that can do in-room cocktail uh, strategy. The, the guests, when they have big events, they want to have somebody that can do something that is spectacular and probably you have you know, uh, special cocktail makers that are connected to DJs. So it really depends on the attitude. I just gave, it, gave you an example. Uh, we are talking about also technical roles, but we need managers to drive the uh, sustainability effort, for example. Uh, in the past, we only have engineers. Now we need to have people that understand that you have technology to check the uh, infrastructure, technology to check the consumption of energy, and imagination to drive a different way of uh, attracting guests to partner with us in using differently all the uh, things that we, that we can offer in the hotel, from green program to the uh, laundry experience, for example. So not changing the towel every single day if you don't need 
or using straws that are not done in plastic but with different material, more natural. Those are little, little, little examples, but we can design hundreds and we need creative people to understand that every single change can be a best practice. Uh, I will close my, my introduction with something that is, I think, important. Uh, with Yulm, we are partnering since 15 years. And we had many, uh, many young people that were hired during the internship. Let's say 95% of the people that we hired during the internship are staying with us because they love to work together in a company like this. I think that the major, let's say, competitive advantage for a university is the conversion rate between opportunities to stage and then conversion in terms of any type of contract. Then it depends on the local legislation. So uh, I leave the stage to Manuela and then I will be very happy to stay in contact for the, uh, and for the question that you may raise. But in principle, just go to the website of Marriott Careers and you will have a lot of opportunities to understand where the company is going and where we need to have opportunities to hire or develop or create a uh, platform for new uh, energy and new talent. Thank you to everyone and the word to Manuela. Thank you very much, Antonello, for your speech uh, to be with us today. And Marriott is started before, and then Marriott uh, is really an important partner of this uh, master program that I will present. Uh, um, I will present before um, before starting with the presentation. I would like. Uh, uh, to, to, to start with the question, why a career in tourism today? Uh, and then why study tourism here uh, at the Young University in Milano? Um, tourism uh, has never stopped growing over the last 60 years. If you see at the slide, uh, the, ar the arrivals of international tourists and, and revenues for, from the travel industry have, have increased significantly from 25 million in 1950 to uh, 1,300 million uh, in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the last year. So tourism uh, today generates 7% of world exports in goods and services and is the third worldwide export category after chemical and fuels. Uh, and also in many developing, de developing countries is the first export category. And if you look at the jobs, uh, 3 million people work today in tourist company, which means 10% of the total job uh, market worldwide. So tourism, uh, um, it, it's, it's also a, a, an industry that includes a, a large, a wide, a wide range of sectors as hospitality, but also transport, food services, mice, uh, meeting incentive, trade fairs, events, online travel, tour operator, travel agency, uh, but its, uh, economic, uh, uh, its economic impact, employment, employ employment benefits are even rela in related sector as construction, agriculture, retail, food, telecommunication. So it's an industry that includes many, many sectors, many, many different sectors. Uh, all this to say that uh, tourism is certainly today one of the most interesting industries to look at uh, in terms of growth and uh, employment prospect. But also, uh, it is important to say that uh, tourism continues to become a more innovative and diversified industry. Uh, if you see in the last 15 years, ICT has had a huge impact on this sector and has deeply transformed the way of traveling the distribution process, the competitive gain. Uh, online travel uh, are constantly growing and travel services is one of the top categories of best-selling product online. And also digital platform as uh, Airbnb, TripAdvisor, Booking, uh, but also car sharing and car pooling system. We all use today this platform and that did not exist until a few years ago. But also uh, new, new skills and tools, uh, big data analytics, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, are increasingly used technology by company in the sector and provide new services and make marketing strategy more and more effective. But to, tourism is also becoming, is also, is also steadily becoming a driver of the attractiveness used by companies from other sectors uh, 
um, for example, fish on food and, food, food and beverage to enhance the attractiveness of their brand. Uh, so all this suggests that today tourism is one of the most interesting areas for starting new businesses and also for business innovative and dynamic career paths. But let's not forget that uh, these changes uh, also pose some challenges, big challenges I would say. Today there is a significant gap between professional profiles, professional skills most sought after by tourist companies and those of graduates in university courses. This gap is partly due to the speed of change in tourism sector. Uh, also, uh, a little bit uh, is due uh, of a certain uh, rigidity and resistance of, uh, resistance of change from the academia. Uh, it, is, it isn't easy to adapt university courses, programs, uh, and content at this speed of change. For 15 years, the ULM has collaborated with the, the major companies in the sector to design together, and, and Marriott is, is among them, is one of the main partners, um, to design programs in line with their expectation and to support them in the training of the most sought after professional profiles. Uh, um, ULM is a young university. Uh, uh, established in uh, 1968 uh, and uh, is very, very uh, specialized and focused on three areas, uh, languages, uh, communication and new media, and art and tourism. So I, I would say that the, the two key characteristics that makes Yulm an ideal environment to study tourism uh, are one, this uh, multidisciplinary focus on languages, communication and media, and art, that are three very important topics, uh, very linked to tourism studies. And second, a strong, strong um, collaboration and, um, and partnership with the main companies of the sector. Uh, 20 years ago, Yulm was, was the first university, would la launch the first bachelor in tourism in Italy. And uh, 15 years ago, uh, the first master program uh, in English in Italy. Uh, six months classroom, six months internship uh, to accelerate both, both learning and training. Uh, two years ago, we started with this new master program, Master of Science, two-year Master of Science. Um, and what are the, um, the, the, the characteristics of this program and the structure of this program? Um, we design, we decided to design this program with the explicit goal of training highly motivated individuals and introducing them into companies in different, different sectors of tourism industry. Uh, in two years, students become protagonists in their fields. They acquire all the managerial tools, a personal network, competencies, and an attitude uh, to make a difference in the companies and institutions where they will work. The program is developed on two, um, on two years. In the first year here in English, here in, in Milano, uh, you acquire the basic knowledge. Uh, students uh, have very different backgrounds, cultural and scholastic backgrounds. So the first year is, an, is a moment to acquire the, uh, the basic knowledge. And then in the second year, students can design uh, a very customized path of specialization, as well as a strong international experience. How we do that? Um, students can uh, can uh, choose, a, they have three possible paths of specialization. A first path, path is uh, in hospitality and tourism management, taught in English, and it takes place uh, at the University of Central Florida in Orlando. Upon completion, students can earn a double degree, an Italian degree, laurea magistrale, and an American degree, Master of Science, as well as the possibility of staying in the US after the graduation for one year uh, to work in the tourist sector. Uh, the second path of specialization is uh, in France, in uh, Université de Grenoble. 
Here, students uh, um, uh, acquire a, an Italian degree, laurea magistrale, and a French degree, maîtrise. Uh, the focus of this specialization is on innovation et territoire. And the third path of specialization is here in Milan. The focus is on uh, innovation and creative industries. And uh, uh, here students can also have a, a strong international experience with a semester abroad where they can design uh, a specialization path following, following the uh, characteristic of uh, our partner companies. But we can um, go more in detail on the three specialization paths. So the first one, Orlando, Florida. UCF is the second university in USA for number of students. Uh, is uh, a, a big university uh, with uh, a very, very vibrant uh, university life, life uh, with more than 550 organizations and clubs of students. And here you have some pictures of the uh, Rosen College of Hospitality Management, the college where uh, the, um, the second year, uh, the course, all the courses in the second year are held. Um, Rosen College is a, a very important research center on hospitality management. Um, and, and after, after the second year, uh, year uh, after the course, students can, uh, can have a, a, a one-year visa uh, to stay in the United States and to complete, to, 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 to work in, 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 the, in the hospitality industry or in tourist industries, in fields that are related to the master program. Uh, here you have a picture of Université de Grenoble. Université de Grenoble is uh, uh, the, the fifth university in France in, in terms of number of students. The, in the, we work with, uh, sorry, we work with the Institut de Géographie Alpine, and here the focus is uh, uh, territorial development, uh, urban regeneration, destination marketing and management. So very different, is more focused on the public sector, uh, the, uh, the, 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 learning, uh, uh, the learning method is very active with a lot of, with a lot of field projects uh, um, in partnership with the uh, local institution and, and companies. Here you have uh, uh, the, third, uh, the third path in Milano. Uh, all the courses are, are in English and the focus is on uh, creativity on design, on luxury brand management, but also is there is the possibility for the students to uh, organize a semester abroad. Here you have uh, an idea of the uh, partner university um, for this year, but uh, there are other agreements that are, um, that are, that we are, we are developing other agreement for, for the next year in Asia, South America, uh, Emirates uh, and other in Europe also, um, and uh, and here you have uh, um, an idea of our faculty. Um, as you can see, for each uh, in each area in each course, uh, um, academic from Ulm work together with uh, academic from other schools of hospitality management or tourism all over the world and, and also with professionals. There is a strong link uh, with the uh, senior manager from, me, from the ind industry that works with us to design courses. The uh, learning method is very, very active. We have 10% of the hours are, uh, of, of the total amount of, uh, of the program are in distance learning at the beginning to acquire a common uh, base of understanding a common, a common knowledge before the beginning of the courses. Then you have 20%, uh, 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 about 20% of uh, classroom rest lessons, more traditional lectures. And then 70% 70, 70 are case studies, uh, are simulation, are training on the job in, the in our partner companies, are um, field projects. This is very important because uh, uh, we, uh, we try to actively involve uh, our students in experiences that closely match an authentic working environment. 
students will solve problems by interacting with a group of people that they haven't chosen. They defend their ideas and present them convincingly to others, including professors and professionals. They also have the privilege to discuss strategy issues with key people from the, the industry. Uh, skilled professionals that, that share their wisdom and know how directly with the students in a teaching context. And they certainly gain experience in working under pressure to strict deadlines. It is very important for us that students uh, adopt a critical approach uh, and that uh, they, they compare theoretical modeling instruments discussed in class with their personal experience as well as the concrete reality of companies that they, they meet uh, in, in class and, in, and during the job, the job day in the, in the companies. Uh, here you have an idea of the content of the, of the courses, but more details are available on our website. The internship at the end of the second year is a very, very important, uh, uh, very important is an important class of the program. We dedicate a lot of time in selecting our internship, in design uh, the, the, the program, the learning program with, uh, with our partner companies. Here you have an idea of the position uh, of the students that uh, um, attended the, 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 the previous editions. And here you have also an idea of the, um, the type of uh, uh, the area of, uh, the, of job and uh, the area of uh, of, uh, of, career, um, of career opportunities. Um, I think that but here you have some example of our uh, graduates, uh, position of our graduate, graduates after uh, one year after the diploma. As you can see, we have position in the event, uh, event management uh, area in uh, online, uh, in, in online business travel, in uh, revenue management, uh, but also some uh, entrepreneur like, uh, like Patricia that after the master uh, decided to, to start their own uh, um, company and uh, professional, uh, uh, professional uh, experience. Um, here we have some details about uh, admission requirements. Uh, the bachelor uh, is in any discipline is uh, a, a, a fundamental requirement to, to enter in the first year. Uh, we have a test here in Ulm. Uh, and then uh, for the second year, you, um, you have different requirements depending on your choice. For the United States uh, uh, program, you need a GPA uh, of three out um, on a base of four. Uh, in your bachelor, uh, and uh, also a TOEFL or a, yeah, a IELTS, a minimum score of IELTS of 6.5. You, uh, you also need a minimum first year grade point uh, of uh, uh, 27. Uh, for the, uh, for the, the, the specialization path in France, you need a good level of French. Uh, you don't need a certification, but uh, there is a test uh, in, the, in, in, in Grenoble uh, to evaluate your level of French. This is important because uh, uh, you are, the majority of the courses are held in, in French. Here you have uh, uh, an idea of the tuition fees and, and scholarships, but you can, uh, you can also, uh, you you can also uh, find more details about uh, uh, about uh, stipend and, uh, and the grant uh, in our website. Uh, it is important to say that uh, for the second year in the United States, all the students have a stipend of uh, um, $10,000 for living expenses. Here you have uh, uh, the deadline for the next admission test and uh, the, the pre-enrollment. And I think that uh, it's okay, so we can uh, stop here and, uh, uh, and uh, we wait for your question and uh, request of further clarification. Thank you, Professor De Carlo. Thank you also to uh, Mr. De Medici. It was very interesting to hear uh, from both sides, from the co coordinator of the course and also from someone who is uh, living 
reality of hospitality and uh, tourist management. Um, we have a group that is very interested in everything that you have explained, that you have presented uh, to us. Um, so let's start with the questions. Uh, everyone, you have asked, uh, I, we have a, you have asked us to send the presentation, to send the information. Um, you will receive uh, tomorrow or uh, in the following days all the details, uh, contacts that you need to reach out to Yulm University and also the brochures, uh, and information that you need uh, to apply to Yulm University. So keep an eye out for our email. And uh, uh, let's start with the questions. Um, I would like to start with a question for um, um, the Medici. Um, Ionella is asking, can you hear me, um, Antonello? Hello, yeah. Hi, hi, Antonello. I would like to start with a question uh, for you. Yeah. Uh, while you were explaining uh, your views on the opportunities of uh, nowadays, on what is needed for a tourism, uh, hospitality and tourism management professional, Ionella asked, do you believe it is important to develop personal skills besides education? How important do you think uh, personal skills are? Uh, definitely personal skills and then there is a uh, huge debate that we can issue in terms of personal skills. What is the meaning of that? Because now personal skills can be uh, let's say the ability of listening, for example, can be the ability of communicating, can be the ability of, uh, let's say, uh, lateral thinking sometimes. So all these are important. One that is a uh, difficult to explain sometimes to students that is a basic skill is the attitude of starting from operational jobs. Because hospitality is not only uh, philosophy, it's not only uh, the uh, design for development uh, or, or things that are very imaginative. Sometimes we need to be, uh, as a friend of mine always says, it's bread and butter. So you need to be on the roots, the entry level job sometimes, and you have to do it for a while. You don't need to, to spend your life doing these things, but you need to understand all the uh, operational activities. Uh, I met presidents of, of large organizations, they started in stewarding in FMB, so dishwashing things and understanding the process. So uh, to me, one, one basic skill is the humility. Yes, I completely agree. Um, let's, uh, let's go back to Professor De Carlo. We have a few questions about, um, about the course. So, Professor De Carlo, we have a lot of questions about um, about uh, if you could give more details about scholarships. Um, what are the requirements? Uh, how do you offer the scholarships? Can you let Sumaya know, please? Uh, for this, uh, for students that go to the United States, uh, the scholarship uh, is. Uh, um, uh, what you see on the on the on the presentation um, but for the other students it depend on it depend on the profile we have scholarship for specific countries um, and the scholarship uh, based on the um, on the uh, on the in that are income based but uh, I, I i suggest to check our website uh, uh, to verify uh, in, in more precisely what uh, what are the sorry yes you can you can you can uh, send an email to admission at Yulm because uh, because uh, scholarship are um, have different characteristics and we have some scholarship that will be available in the next few months. Uh, so it's uh, it's important to to understand uh, what is your country of origin uh, what what is your um, your your profile so it's important to send an email and also check uh, in the link that is available on the website yes we will send uh, you can screenshot everyone uh, this uh, these contacts but we will send them in the email to follow up with you guys the following days Professor De Carlo, um, Donia is asking if uh, if uh, can I have more information on studies at 
Université de, de Grenoble. Yes. Allora, l'Università di Grenoble e uh, especially di di Institut de Geografie Alpine is uh, an excellence uh, it's uh, it's really a uh, out, an outstanding uh, research center uh, on the regenerate urban regeneration processes on the uh, on the uh, public policy for sustainable development of territories uh, so here the focus is really on uh, the uh, territorial development and on the uh, development of collaboration uh, among stakeholders, institutions, companies on a territory to, uh, to create uh, development. Uh, students, uh, the, the master program, the second year within the master program in Grenoble is very, very practical. Uh, the class is very, mm, the profile of students is very international. There are students from all over the world and uh, they work uh, uh, with a very hands-on approach on uh, a field project that uh, uh, includes uh, representatives of companies, of institutions of the Grenoble region, but also of the other region in France. Uh, so the method is very practical um, and uh, the, the focus is, uh, is uh, territorial. Is very focused it's very very focused i think that this uh, specialization path is interesting also for students that uh, um, are interested in a more managerial position in hospitality industry or in other sector of the tourist industry because the territorial dimension is very is really relevant also in for companies uh, like hotels, like uh, tour operator, like, like travel agency. So the understanding, a deep understanding of the dynamics uh, of the development process, uh, territorial development process is an important point of view, an important knowledge that uh, can be very, very significant also for managerial position in more traditional companies, private companies in the sector. So it can be also a specialization path uh, with uh, after and after the exams in Grenoble, students can decide to uh, to organize the internship in uh, in other in other private companies, uh, not in public institutions. So change and 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 shift with the internship to other other kind of, of jobs. Good, good to hear. Thank you, Professor De Carlo. We have uh, Ali Davi asking about the requirements of admissions. If you could go in depth uh, about the admissions, um, it's not required to have a, a degree already on tourism and in hospitality and tourism management, correct? No, 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 uh, no, no. The bachelor can be in any discipline. Uh, we have uh, some online courses. We suggest to our students to try. We, we have a test in this test, or, uh, and for, for, for um, students from in uh, abroad, we have a Skype, uh, a Skype interview. Um, and uh, um, for students that don't have uh, a, a background in tourism, uh, we suggest to attend our online courses uh, before the, um, the beginning of the courses here. Uh, at the Ulm in September. So it's very important uh, mm, to, um, to, par to participate to the, to the admission, pro to enter the admission process uh, earlier so we you can be admitted and uh, have the um, possibility to attend these courses and to prepare yourself uh, mm, to um, fill the gap uh, if th there is a gap uh, in uh, more specific uh, topics, for example, accounting, for example, uh, tourism industry uh, um, players and roles, so for example, marketing. Uh, we have a very good um, selection of, uh, of, um, of uh, readings, but also some online courses. So it's important to, uh, to, to work on that before the, the beginning of the courses here at the UN. Yes, for sure. Um, um, Mohammed is asking, how do we uh, make aware in the whole country? If you want to share with your friends or with your family, just forward the email, the, the contacts, 
Um, it's good to hear that you're so interested that you want to, to share with everyone, Mohammed. Um, Professor De Carlo, um, we have an anonymous participant that would like to know more about the internship program. Is it mandatory? Is it something that the students choose? How does, uh, how does internship in general work? Internship is uh, uh, not compulsory, uh, but it's uh, an, 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 import, an, an, an interesting opportunity for our students. We dedicate a lot of time in selecting internship, in design the job, uh, uh, the job position in the internship with our partner companies, and is a, is, is a big plus. So I suggest to, uh, to do this, but uh, you can also uh, substitute the internship with a field project, a, 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 a personal project with an advisor from your university. So uh, with, a, with a tutor professor in, in, in your, but my suggestion is to, do, to, 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 to participate in the, in, the, in the internship program. Um, the career service here in Ulm is very active, uh, organize a lot of, uh, um, of uh, initiative uh, seminars, uh, job seminars with companies, uh, career days with companies. And uh, I think that uh, um, to be here in Ulm in the first year is also the, 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 oppor is also the, the, the opportunity to uh, to clarify, be to, 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 to better design, to better understand what is uh, your, your uh, interest uh, and what are your preferences. Yes, yes. We see a lot of uh, interesting internships. Also yes. China, yes. Yes. Belgium. Yes, this, uh, as you can see, we usually suggest to Italian students to go abroad. For, uh, for a foreign student, the suggestion is to stay here in Italy, to go more in depth in, in their experience here in Milan, in Italy, also in, uh, in terms of cultural, uh, uh, cultural experience. But uh, it's very important to, um, to work here in Italy uh, a good level of, of Italian. So my suggestion for foreign students that want to stay here in Italy for the internship it is to uh, to, to work on the Italian language, to practice uh, before uh, the beginning of the courses in, in September. Yes, yes. Thank you, Professor De Carlo. Um, um, I have a, an, a very interesting question. I have encouraged our, our participants to um, ask if their background makes sense for uh, a master's degree in uh, hospitality and tourism management. And one of our uh, participants says that he or she is a graduate in uh, physics. Uh, could he still be a part of a tourism department? Can he make that change uh, in his professional career? Sure, sure. We have students from with very, very different backgrounds. Not physics, uh, this is the first time, but uh, but economics, but uh, languages, but uh, um, so very, very different backgrounds. Uh, I think that after the experience of 15 years with the master program, the one year master program, uh, we have learned how to, um, to guide students with different backgrounds in a, a career path uh, in, in hospitality, in tourism, in managerial roles. Um, I think that uh, the, the, the learning style, the method, the learning method, um, which is very practical, which is very active, uh, can guide students uh, to, uh, to acquire um, all the, 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 the tools, uh, the managerial tools, but also the attitudes that are uh, needed, that you, that you must have to to, to, to enter in yes. uh, the professional yes. sector, yes. Yes, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. Um, Professor De Carlo, we, have, uh, we still have a question about the application. Ali V says, probably, uh, probably before you apply, you must have a degree or a bachelor, correct? Yeah. Yes, you must have a, de a bachelor degree. Before, uh, no, you can... Uh, uh, you can you, you must have a bachelor degree before uh, the start the beginning of courses so before September before September um, when, when is the deadline to apply 
the deadline to apply for foreign students is uh, um, September. September, so the 3rd of September. Yes. So they need to have a diploma by... The 3rd of September is our last admission test. So uh, the, the uh, mid-September is the deadline for the... Okay. And they need to have a diploma by now, by then, I'm sorry. By then they needed to have a diploma, yes. What about the English certificate? What if they don't have, but they have a date to, uh, to do the exam? Allora, yes, the, the, the certificate is not compulsory for the first year here, uh, here in Milan. We have uh, a, an interview in English uh, with our uh, English teacher to check the level of language uh, via Skype. Uh, so for, for the first year in Yulma, we, we, we directly check uh, uh, the level of English in a personal interview. For the second year in the United States, the, um, the certification is, com is a compulsory uh, and you need a level of IELTS of uh, 6.5 or a level of TOEFL of 20, uh, 220. Okay, so they need to hand in the certificate, understood. Okay, um, we have answered all of your question, uh, all of your questions. I thank you all the, I thank all the participants for joining us this afternoon, this evening. It has been a great session. Um, Professor De Carlo, if you'd like to um, continue with your final remarks, uh, please go ahead. No, I, no, no, I, 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 I just uh, would say that uh, I am available for further clarification and also uh, to share more information about the course. Uh, this is my email, um, so I am available for students that want to, 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 to understand more about the program. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you to everyone. Uh, screenshot. Uh, these details. If you have a couple of you have a, a couple of seconds to do that. If not, we'll send you an email in the following days. It was great to have you all here. Uh, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are. Hope to see your application very soon to Yulm's University Master's uh, degree in Hospitality and Tourism Management. Uh, thank you again, and hope to see you very soon. Bye. Ciao. Thank you very much. Bye bye.